Hi guys, this is um, a bit like a first impressions, um, a swatch video, um, and also going to do a quick look as well um, with um, one of the new palettes that have come out from Makeup Academy, and this is the 15 shade palette in Fire Vixen. Now, as you can see, very, very warm colours indeed. Now, I do apologise, I've only got half my makeup on. Um, and it's because I'm, I'm doing um, a foundation video at the same time um, but I thought I'm going to do a video on this um, because it's new so yeah let's get on with it now I have actually already primed and actually put the base colour on already um, because I wasn't actually going to do this and then I thought no I am going to do it because I've got a day where Sophia is off on a day trip um, at a place called the Wilderwood um, where they've gone with the rainbows because she um, she's a rainbow and it's part of their 30th birthday celebrations that they've all gone to the Wilderwood. So, okay, now I've already put the primer on and I have used the base colour so I'm just going to let that set for the moment so what we're going to do I'm going to quickly swatch these colours for you because as you can I have used this already as you can see it is absolutely beautiful um it's so warm so lovely um and I, I was determined not to get this um but oh, I couldn't resist if I'm honest the only thing that's bugging me is there's a piece of tape ah got it got it off there we go right okay now it doesn't actually give you any names on the back it's just numbered and it just says matte eyeshadows high pearl eyeshadow and eyeshadow hmm just eyeshadow the difference between so it isn't matte or shimmer okay right so I'm going to do what I usually do I will go from the top across and I will do some swatches for you. There's some beautiful colours. Absolutely gorgeous colours here. Okay, so the first one we have is your base colour. Which on me, I don't know if you can see or not, is a little bit orangey. It's not It's not my usual... It's, it's a little bit dark for me as a base colour. Then we have this absolutely beautiful shimmer in like the only way I can describe that is like an iced mocha it's just absolutely gorgeous it's like a yeah it's just beautiful then we have this matte color which is great for transition and then we have this other shimmer color which is like a champagne -y pink so that is absolutely beautiful so let's just put swatch these on my arm for you oh look at that that's gorgeous Oh, they are beautiful, look. Absolutely gorgeous. And there is nothing left on my fingers. So I'll just swatch this little one on the end here now, which is another matte, so it's another transition-y colour, which is really nice. So we'll just swatch that there as well. Yeah, that's beautiful. Now that one is a little bit, I don't know if you can see, it looks a little bit patchy compared to that one. But, hmm. So then we have this lovely um, sort of orangey brownie colour. Then we have this like almost grey, grey, gr now what is that? I've heard this called before. It's not beige or grey, it's greyage I think it is. Is it greyage or is it, I've got to try and work out which way it is, grey. No, I think, I, I don't know, I think I'm just talking rubbish. So then we have this other beautiful, beautiful colour here, which is like a, a really sort of um, warm peachy colour. And then we have another one of these grey colours as well. So those are what they look like on my fingers. Oh, I love that. That is just beautiful. I really gravitate to those sorts of colours, I tell you. Okay. These are going to be the quick... No, look at that. I really like that colour because I just think it's just really versatile. Um, and it's great for um, doing your crease or your transition. It's just fabulous. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. That's a wet look, isn't it? That is beautiful. And there's that other grey colour, which is a lot darker. It's almost like a smoked colour. That. So, yeah, beautiful. And then on the end, <laughs> we... <laughs> Grow up, Janice. <laughs> right, okay, then we have this beautiful, like, coppery colour here as well. I don't know if you can see. My lighting's not great in here, I do apologise. Oh, look at that! That's beautiful. That is just absolutely gorgeous. Let's just swatch that there. Oh, beautiful. The textures are just lovely. Um... They, as you can see, they swatch so lovely. All right, they're not the prettiest swatches in the world. I haven't gone and got my sellotape out and done that, like, you know. I will do that for Instagram, though. I'll do that for Instagram. So then we have this beautiful shimmer. Now, I don't know if we can see. Let's just change, move this around a little bit, see if that, right. Okay, so we have this beautiful highlight colour. I can, don't know if you can see, but you will see when I do... Lighting's just not the lighting's not great today. Sorry, guys. Then we have this. Um, well, it's just a, a matte with a little bit of a little bit of shimmer in. Then we have this beautiful dusky rose. Then we have this beautiful, beautiful like shimmer red. Um, so let's just show you the camera. So there you go. There's that highlight colour. Isn't that just gorgeous? Then we have that orangey colour that's got a slight pearl shimmer through it. Then we have this beautiful dusky rose matte colour. And then we have this beautiful, beautiful, like, rosy pink pearlescent colour, which I think is going to be a wet look. Look at that. Look at that. That's a bit patchy. It's all right though. Oh, bad swatch. Oh, look at that. Just look at that. And then we have one more on the end, which is this hot pink red coloured, which again is a matte. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. I tell you what, these are very, very in at the moment, these warm colours. Oh my goodness! Okay, so, these are the swatches. Yes, I know they're ugly, um, but those are the swatches, so that's all the colours. Um, so now I'm going to do a look. Um, we'll try them out and see how we get on. So, I do apologise, my eyeliner is running. Oh, and now I've got a, an orange smudge underneath. Great. Right, back in a minute, I'm just gonna go clean up. There we go, good old concealer. Right, okay, so. I will do, so I've already done my base color using this. Now I, that is very, very yellow on my eyes. I don't know if you can see this or not. I'm just going to zoom in so that you can see. There we go. Okay, so it's very, very yellow on my eyes, but it will do as a base colour. So, I will start off using the pinky colour um, just to do my crease Let me just swap brushes. I'm going to be using it now. This is a blending brush, um, and it's by a company called Lamora. Um, and I swear by this brush. It is just, it's just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So let's just. Base going down. I want this to 
they will look because of this. Summer! It's July! That blends in. I don't know if you can see, that blends really, really nicely. I'm going to use um, I'm going to use one of the, the lighter grey colour. You probably think more. I'm just going to use that just, just here on the outer. Okay. Just to tone the warmth down a little bit. Just to feel that it's a little bit too warm. Um, okay, so I'm now going to use this colour here. Oh, goodness me, you can't see anything. This colour here on the end. The good thing is, these palettes are included in the 3 for 2 at Superdrug at the moment. Don't penalise me for being really crap at doing this. Okay, so done that, and then I'm just going to go with this deeper colour in the middle at the bottom. I should say your top, and I'm just going to go all over the lid with this. I'm doing a fluffy brush is because I don't want it to be hugely pigmented. I just want it as like a a base kind of. There we 
go. Now, to me, I can't really see any harsh lines. You might be able to, but I can't. So what I'm going to quickly do now is I'm going to just put a little bit of the highlighter under my brow here. That just lifts that up totally. So you might be able to see harsh lines in the camera, but in the mirror, and in reality, you can't. But that's the beauty of HD. So I'm just going to do um, use the darker grey just to do my outer corner, just to give that a little bit of depth. As if I'm putting eyeliner on, but most of you guys know I don't wear eyeliner. So by putting my darker eyeshadow on, I just get that little bit more depth there. So I blend that in as well. I'm not using quite a fluffy brush because I want this more targeted, if that makes sense. So now I'm just going to put a little bit of that highlight in my inner corner just to open my eye up slightly. And I haven't put loads and loads on because I don't want it to look totally unnatural. Just a little bit just to open that up. Not as easy to apply. Could be the brush I'm using. 
little bit bigger. This is normally the brush that I do use to do this. This colour reminds me of Pick and Mix in the Makeup Revolution um, Luxe palette, the big one, the big 50, the 35. It is very, very much, very much like that colour. This lovely colour up here, I'm just going to put that in the centre just so it's like an ombre sort of look. do is use a brush just to go in with very very slightly this colour here and I'm literally just I don't want it I don't want it exaggerated at all. I don't want like I don't want that to be the main event if that makes sense. You can actually get under the eyelid as well, under your lower lash. That doesn't hurt the eye, it's really, really soft, so it doesn't hurt the eye at all. Okay, so that's my finished look using the eyeshadow. I'll just put some mascara on. I'm going to use the Essence Lash Princess um, Volume Mascara, um, which I've seen a couple of videos of. That I mean, it's it's the head of that reminds me of Viper um, from Makeup Revolution, which is another one that I really really love. So. Really 
bothered if my makeup doesn't look absolutely perfect, if I'm honest. And if you're new to my channel and you've never seen any of my videos before, I don't wear winged eyeliner on my top lids um, because I have a couple of like skin taggy type growths so it stops me from doing doing a flick so I don't bother with any of it at all um, and because I've got hooded eyes as well you can't really notice that I haven't got got it on it's not wow oh my goodness this mascara Oh my goodness, Anwen Williams, you are not wrong. Sorry, Anwen is another YouTuber who I absolutely adore. Um, she's just so, so lovely. channel down below actually because she's such a good girl. She recommended using the Lash Princess. Um, you got three pounds there. It wasn't very expensive but I mean I don't know if you can see. This really opened up my eyes. Really opened up my eyes. So yeah. So there we go, that's my finished eye look using the Vixen palette. And I really like this. I like this a lot. I love the Burning Embers palette. Um, so yeah, there are all the swatches again. And I'll just do a close up of the palette so that you can see. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, love that. Highly recommended. Um, I think that might end up going into my favourites, possibly for July. Haven't done my June favourites yet. That will be coming. Um, but yeah, I really like that. So thank you very much for watching my video. Once I've done my finished makeup look, I will come back and so that you can see. And um, yeah, thank you very much. Bye for now. Okay, so this is the finished eye look. I do recommend this palette. I recommend that you get it. Um, it is in the three for two at the moment. It is available on site um, of Superdrug. And it's also obviously available at Makeup Academy's store as well. Um, I do recommend it. It's really, really lovely. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really pretty really pretty um so thank you very much for watching if you're not already subscribed please subscribe um press the thumbs up button if you liked the video um and if you want to be updated of any new videos i've got coming out then please hit the bell and it will send you notifications every time i upload so thank you very much for joining me today and i hope to see you again soon bye bye for now